Golly, it's quiet in the enchanted forest today. <laughs> uh oh, someone's crying. Gosh, little tree, can I help you? Oh, nobody can help me. <laughs> bah, he's always crying because he's Willie the Weeping Willow. He's always complaining. Oh, you'd complain too. These big greedies won't give me any room for my roots. And I'm always in the shade. Tough. I'll never be a big tree. Couldn't you big fellows make a little room for his roots and let him have a little sunshine? What? We, we were here first. Well, it wouldn't hurt to be a little charitable. Don't tell us what to do, Scram. See, they're all mean. Oh, I'll never grow up. Golly. I wish I could help you, Weeping Willie. You could help me leave this terrible forest and find a nice sunny spot. I could? How? Find the magic potion of motion. What's that? <laughs> Imagine him answering the riddle. What riddle? The ogre under the mountain has a magic potion of motion that he will pour on anyone who can answer the riddle. What is the riddle? Nobody knows. We've never seen him. Oh, it's hopeless. Please don't cry, Weeping Willie. I'm going to find the magic potion of motion for you. Oh, I truly hope so. So do I. God, Tumbleweeds. Oh, Tumbleweeds, could you please tell me if you've ever heard of the potion of motion? So you've noticed that we can move. I'll say. Well, we met the old grunt of the mountain. And you answered his riddle? Well, not exactly. He spilt some of the potion on us to get rid of us because <laughs> we tasted so terrible. Oh. This is where he tasted me. Oh, my. Well, would you fellows mind telling me where I could find the ogre? You see, I have a friend who's a tree, and I'd like to get some of the potion for him. Oh, that's impossible. Hopeless. But why? The ogre loves to eat vegetables, but he's too lazy to raise them. So he offers tasty-looking plants a chance to answer the riddle. If they can, they win the gift of motion. If not, into the chop suey. Would it be cheating to ask what the riddle is? Yes, that's okay. Because we can't remember it. Bye. So long. Hmm, maybe in my present form I don't look very tasty. But with a pull here and a push there. There. I only hope I look delicious. Now to find the ogre and see if I can answer that riddle. Okay, tasty tidbits, riddles, anyone? Ah, oh, it's the ogre. Ask me. Nah, you look like you taste like a tumbleweed. Ugh. I'd like to try. Say, what a salad you would make. Now, here's the potion of motion, and here is my shopping basket. It's a difficult riddle, so please be sure you want to try it. Uh, I'm sure. Then listen carefully. It is there when you can't see it, and when you do, you flee it. It walks, it talks, it flies, it cries. It seems like everything in general, but it is an animal, vegetable, or mineral. What is it, give up? Let me think. It's a widget. No help from the audience. Besides, you're wrong. Wait, it, it's coming to me. It's a ghost, like me. Yay! When you see it, boy, you're fleeing. The, po the potion. Oh, it spilled all over the grass. But I saved a few drops. We, we can move. Hooray! Free the animals. Now I have to hurry before this potion evaporates. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Weeping Willie, the potion of motion. Oh, hurry with it, Casper. Close your eyes. Well? I, I feel kind of peculiar. I don't believe it. Where are we going, Casper? I know a place where you can have plenty of space. <laughs> Mr. Big Willow, may Little Willie plant himself on this bank? Why, sure. Welcome, neighbor. Drink deep now, Willie, and grow. Oh, I will, I will. Goodbye.
Bye for now, Willie. I'll be visiting you again soon. I'll be waiting here, Casper. Bye. never got off the ground. Millions of dollars in taxes. Poof! Up in smoke. I tell you, something ought to be done. Well, Dad, I guess it'll be up to the youth of the nation to solve its problems. Er, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, Specs. Uh, guess you're right. Hmm. From this abandoned warehouse will be the shell of our rocket. Load away, men! Now the problem of sending a rocket into space will be explained with this cosmographical map of the sky. The rocket will have to pass through the Milky Way, and if there are no bottlenecks, Proceed past the Big Dipper to the Dog Star, which is at the halfway mark. Our final destination is the moon. Oh, Professor. Yes, Jobs? Suppose our rocket misses the moon and winds up here. Then our secret timing device will speed up the rocket to land when the moon is here. Well, what happens if it goes to this side of the moon? The timing device will then slow it down to land when the moon is here. Hit that call, tweet a woe! You win, Specs! All set for the solid fuel test, Goop. Pour in the fuel. Where we going? How's the liquid fuel experiment going, Chubbs? All set for the test, Professor. Save the fuel! Men, we will now need a spaceman for our rocket. Will a volunteer please take one step forward? Very well, Goop. Who, oh, me? Now, due to the lack of gravity on the moon, we will have to see how our spaceman reacts to weightlessness. Okay, Chubbs. <laughs> I'm a moon man! I'm a moon man! This centrifuge will test your ability to withstand the terrific pressure you will experience in space flight. Let it go! subject has blacked out. We will have to proceed with the pressure suit test. One pressure suit coming up, Professor. Oh boy, it's up to 40 pounds already. What's that racket? I can't bear to look. Geronimo! I wonder what those kids are up to now. Spy! Saboteur! Well, 
ready for the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Oh boy, it's Queen out of sight. Gentlemen, our launching was a success. Specs, off to the woodshed. Oh well, back to the drawing board. to China. Lots of worms under here, Papa. Uh, Papa, baby you we want to fish. Baby you we want to fish. Please, Papa, let me fish. Let me fish. All right, son. You can fish. But go get your own fishing pole. All right, Papa. next to me. Be setting yourself over there. All right, Papa. <laughs> oh, I touch the fish. And he looks just like Papa. Yes, stupid numbskull. Not in the head, Papa. Uh. You want to make me crazy? Come on, get in the boat. There's another spot we'll be trying to fish from. Oh, goody, goody, goody! I promised my papa I'd be a real good boy. Oh boy! A fish! Oh, I'll break every fat bone in your head and 
slap some sense into that thick skull of yours. Ah, uh, we might as well be getting home. There's no use trying to fish with the likes of you around. Papa, Papa, looky! Uh, I got a big fat flounder! <laughs> before I get through with her. What goes 
goes on here. Aha! Stealing the million dollar diamond dog collar, eh? Well, now, I'm taking you down to the... Huh? Composer? Doomcup! Who was you expecting, maybe? Padorovsky? Every time I come back to finish my symphony, I'm interrupted! so you can finish your symphony. Ah, now that the silence is more quiet, I start to commence again. She's 
Ice und Dreckes. Somebody stop the racket before my head blows off the top of my noodle. Nothing much. 
I'm taking you to the dog pound. Please, boss, not that. I was raised in the gutter, a child in the streets. I never got no education. Your story has touched my heart. All right, then. I'll send you to dog college. College? Gee, thanks, boss. <laughs> Stupid, did you get any knowledge in college? My dear fellow, I did not go to college to play football. Fido Beta Kappa and Summa Cum Laude. What's that? That means with highest honors. All right, big brain. I got a simple test for you. Retrieve this stick. Why, your stick is obsolete. Try mine. Modern and scientific. Okay, Smarty. Retrieve it. Well, retrieve it. Your stick is retrieved. Now, let's see what you've learned about being a watchdog. Sir, they do not call me Martin Canine for naught. If anything is stolen, I'll hold you responsible, Martin Canine. Huh, just as I thought. Now to teach that smart aleck a lesson. You were clever, Raffles. But not clever enough for Scotland Yard. And now, sir, I shall give you a lesson in duck hunting. Bah! You can't hunt in this heavy fog. Ah, but in college, I've learned scientific methods. This tuning fork vibrates to the air disturbances created by ducks in flight. Observe the vibrations. They indicate a flock of ducks three miles away. They are now directly overhead. Shoot now. Ah, you and your education. According to meteorological statistics, each year, 408 people are killed by lightning. We'd better hurry home, sir. Hey, wise guy, trying to kill yourself? Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. Beat it! been wrong yet. Lightning struck twice in the same place. Hmm, I shall speak to my professor about that.
fussy. A fried egg's better than nothing. <laughs> fried chicken, after all. Oh, please, sir. You wouldn't eat poor little defenseless me, would you, huh? goes for this phony wine. <laughs> oh my, what a great big juicy wine. All for little me. I'm all alone in this whole wide world. I wish I had a playmate. My, what a pretty party. Hello, birdie. Will you play with me? size of bugs, we could invade the insect world. Uh, great. 
All we need is some of the witch's magic pills. Just leave this to me. Oh, Casper, if you can get me some magic reducing pills, I'll stay home and try to lose this fat. Why, sure, Fatso. Here you are, Fatso. Be careful. The witch has said it was strong stuff. I'll go finish my book. Magic reducing pills. Good for only a few hours. Okay, Fatso, take a pill and see what happens. Perfect. Now for us. Little friend, come and get it. This is what you wanted the reducing pills for. Sure, and now we're off for a scare scoop in a new wild. What new world? The insect wild. Your book gave us the idea. And the pills you got them the rest. I hope they didn't finish all those pills. Lucky they left a few. <laughs> now to find those meanies and see if I can reason with them. Oops, I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> it's only a tomato can. I wonder which way they went. Oops. Shucks, I spilled a buttercup. Help, help, uh-oh, help, ghost. Only mean ghosts could make a snail go at that pace. A ghost, what does call you, sayonara? Ha, a Japanese beetle. Now, to see what I can do to stop them. Oops! Hey, a ghost! Please, Mr. Ant, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Friendly ghost? Ha! Huh. Well, we certainly can't say that about the others. I know, fellas, and I'm here to try and stop them. Gosh, we hope you can. Then you'll have nothing to fear. Nothing but the will of the wisp. The will of the wisp? Yeah, he's fearful to look at. Can you tell me where to find him? He lives in the moon marsh, Casper. But remember, he's real scary. Thanks, fellas. I'll try not to be too scared. Moon marsh. If I want to stop the ghostly trio, I'll need someone who's scarier than they are. Mr. Will of the West. Who dares to awaken me at this unearthly time? Gosh, he must be asleep in that old log. Excuse me, Mr. Will-o'-the-Wisp, but I have a very important matter to discuss with you. Come in, come in. Golly, Mr. Will-o'-the-Wisp, I had no idea you'd look as you do. <laughs> well, what did you expect me to look like? A ghost? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you see, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. But just listen to this. <laughs> Why, I'm supposed to be the scary one in the insect world. <laughs> there they go now, and it's time to put my plan into motion. Say, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Who said that? A friend of Will of the Wisp. Will of the Wisp? Who's he? Let him show his face. Sorry, he only shows his face at Moon Marsh. Well, let's find him. Will of the Wisp, we're waiting for you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. What's that? <laughs> I am Will of the Wisp. Let's grab him. I'll do more than let you get your hands on me. I'll get the real chummy, see? Get him out of me, fellas. Okay, fatso, just hold still. <laughs> now he's in me. <laughs> Now he's in me. He's here again. Gosh, we're back to normal size. And so am I. Shucks, did he make us look like fools? Yeah, we were punching ourselves silly. I better get back before they do. Well, I see you boys decided to grow up after all. And uh, by the way, how was Insect Land? You and your books. <laughs> Come on, Funky, you stubborn.
And then Sir Launcelot, the brave knight, slew the dragon and saved the beautiful princess. <laughs> Sir Launcelot, the brave knight. Just slay any dragon that molests the princess. Dante, oh Dante, will you please come here a minute? I hear it's your call of distress, princess. And your wish is my command. Will you go out to the incinerator and burn this trash? Fair maiden, I will take thy jewels and guard them with my life. That boy and his imagination.
Home looking at television. Silver anniversary. He did it. 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 Okay, come on, spill the beans.
a valentine. Mary Canary! For. Just leave everything to Captain Hyman. A Northwest Mousy always gets his cat. <laughs> Catnip, I arrest you in the name of the Northwest Mousies. <laughs> West Thank <laughs> you. 
Mousy always gets his cat. 